Hello everyone and today I'm gonna show you how you can move your cursor without even touching your mouse. I'm gonna use C++ but you can use C also. So to get started you need to include basic header files in there. Firstly we need to include windows order. In this header file we have all the useful header files which have all the useful functions. So nextly we need to include Astream and we need to include Konyo for get ch you know std so this is for Astream and then main function and in this function I'm just gonna make a program which when you press S you can set the cursor position whatever pixel you want and if you type G uh, you can get the cursor position yeah well so for that we need to run this in loop or uh, forever loop so to generate create that loop I'm just gonna type in while and uh, one uh, for true uh, I can use true but um, you know in C you can't use true you have to use one so I'm just using one over there then I'm using get c it which will get the key pressed and here I'm just adding if wait I'm just gonna make char g equals get c it yeah that's a lot nice so g equal equals s or g equal equals small s so this should work whenever we press s or a small s so in here we need to ask enter the position and this will be in pixels so I will be scanning in oh wait let me create new variable x comma y and this will be scanning in x and y respectively and then here is the main method which will help you set the cursor position so type in s e t with a capital s and c u r s o r cursor with capital c and p o s with capital p and uh, here you can see it asks for int x and int y and i'm just giving it x and y the variable which i have just got from user and if i compile and run this as you can see it is showing up nothing cause it's waiting for get ch and if i press s it will say enter new position well i enter 10 and 100 so you can see my mouse just teleported over that position now my mouse is over here and well this is half part done now we need to type in else if g equals small g or capital G now here it will just directly print in the cursor position so there is not much thing to do uh, to get the cursor position you have to type get with capital G and same thing with cursor so this method asks you for LP point and um, to make that variable we need to make a new variable called POINT in all caps so you can name it anything oh wait let me give it a sensible name x y yeah that's better now if you just type in x y p o s this will give you error you just have to type in and x y p o s 
and this will get the position now xypos dot x will have the mouse x position and xypos dot y will have y position of the mouse so here I'm just printing out out the position with um, x colon x y p o f dot x and um, can do a black slash t over there and then y and then x p o s dot y and then wait uh, this new line and uh, yeah and this will print out the current cursor position so we okay that just printed in backslash t uh, wait I just gave the wrong slash let me fix that up yeah now it should work yeah great it's working well you can see everywhere I go let me set the cursor position to 10 100 and as you know that's the position and uh, now you can check if the position is correct with pressing G now you can just put it in for loop to make a cursor tracker or you can just annoy your friends by putting uh, set cursor position in for loop and make their mouse stuck and you can just generate a random numbers and place the mouse to the and this is just part one of the video movement part and i will show you how to click and get if the cursor has been clicked in other video so that's it for this video thanks for watching and stay creative and consider subscribing